Uh, let's head over to Mike Seidel out in Montauk, New York. I'll tell you what, Mike, very different situation what you guys are dealing with. Be safe, my friend. Justin, yes, we've got warmer weather, so we've got rain temperatures in the low 40s, but we also have more wind because we're way off to the east of Binghamton. It's about a, gosh, about a four-hour drive, and the wind coming right in off the Atlantic. These wave heights here running about six to seven feet, the buoy off Montauk. Now 15-footers, that's about 30 miles southwest of the south shore. We're on the north shore, and these winds are going to stay up until late tomorrow. Then they'll start dying down. We could still get gusts upwards of 60 miles an hour. Last check, the peak gust uh, between the three airports out here, uh, West Hampton, uh, Islip, and here, was here, Montauk, because we are farther east. That makes sense. Uh, the peak gust so far, 45 miles an hour, but we've been sustained upwards around 25 to 30 miles an hour. The rain for now has backed off a little bit. We've had anywhere from an inch to two inches of rain since it moved in late last night. It did rain hard at times around breakfast this morning. Uh, just streets of rain blowing through the town of Montauk. Property, though, is in pretty good shape. Now, remember, the tide is going out, so the water is not crashing up over the wall. You can see the property down there. The water is just uh, hitting the seawall, and the, some of the spray is coming on up. But we've got several more high tide cycles, and we've got team coverage through the afternoon. Reynolds Wolf is in Plymouth. Kelly O'Hara is inland now. She's in town in Situate because of the danger out there by the Situate Lighthouse. And I'll be here. We're all live here on the Weather Channel through the afternoon, and more coverage tonight from those same locations here on the Weather Channel. Stay with us. We'll be right back after a break.